At Longleat, we've got Southern White Rhino. Uh, we currently have four here. We have Njanu, our bull. Uh, we have our three cows who are behind me, uh, Aboon, Rosina and Marashi. Today, we've been harvesting rhino eggs. We're working with the Northern White Rhino project uh, in the hope that developing these kind of in vitro technologies can help preserve the Northern White Rhino and other species of rhino in the future. Unfortunately, there are only two Northern White Rhinos, two females, and there were hundreds of thousands of them in the beginning of the 20th century, and now there are only two left in captivity, none in the wild. These two females are infertile, they cannot get pregnant, even if you inseminated them with sperm from old bulls. So the only way of, of getting offspring from these uh, northern white rhino females is to collect eggs from them and fertilize those in the lab with frozen sperm. And then we have to put them into southern white rhinos. We are working on southern white rhinos as a model species to develop the whole technology. The long lead rhinos are part of that. There's a long kind of course of hormonal treatments to perfect. There's lots of veterinary techniques that need perfecting. And so to practice on something as similar as the Southern White Rhino to Northern White Rhino means that when it comes to the veterinary team going out to do it with the Northern White Rhino, there's a lot less risk. The technique's been refined and uh, the whole procedure is just a lot more successful. We are very pleased that everything went so smooth. So the rhinos recovered very well. They are walking around. And now we keep the fingers crossed that uh, all these oocytes mature and we get lots of embryos out of it. I think with this approach uh, biorescue have so using stem cell technology and uh, advanced assisted reproduction, uh, that is a really uh, important conservation project where we can re revive the northern white rhino for the wild. We're really proud as a team to be involved in this project, contributing to conservation. And um, so uh, as a team and as keepers, that's really important to us.